Hey guys, thank you for joining me and welcome back. And I want to apologize for being away for a few days. I needed some rest guys. I needed some downtime away from YouTube, but I'm feeling really refreshed and I'm ready to get started with making videos for you all. So I want to say thank you. This is a Greek key design sticker that I picked up from Timo. It's faux mirror and it's self adhesive. And I'm going to use this today to create two DIY ideas. So I'm going to start with this vase and I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol and a clean paper towel to remove any oil residues from my fingers. So this is some diamond wrap that I had on hand and I'm going to be using this today. But before I start cutting the strips that I'm going to use, I'm going to remove the black lines with my silver marker. I do this so that I could just remove the black lines and it looks nice and neat. So I'm just going to cut off some single strips of the circular pieces from this diamond wrap. I'm going to use this today too to decorate. So before I get started, I want to show you this is what the acrylic pattern looks like that I got from Timo. It came in this package. It was packaged really well. It wasn't damaged at all. And you get 12 per package. And I ordered about three. So it's a faux mirror. And that's a film that's covering the mirror part. And the white paper in the back is the paper that's attached to the adhesive. And it's going to make the home decor pieces look really, really nice. So the acrylic sticker is very, very thin and it can break easily. So I have to handle it with care. And right now I'm just peeling off the paper off the sticky part on the back. It comes off really easy, but you just have to take your time and work around the shape of the pattern. And I'm just going to apply it to our vase. The vase that I'm using today, as you can see, is a square vase. I think it works best when it's on something flat. So I'm just going to apply that design to all four sides of the vase. Again, the sticker is a little on the thin side and it can break really easy. So I have to use a little bit of care when I'm using it. But other than that guys, I like the way it looks on the vase. It fits really nice on the vase. So now I'm going to add the diamond wrap that I cut out earlier. I'm going to add it to the sides of the design. I'm just going to use a small brush. I'm using this brush just to remove any glue strings that may be there. And then I'm going to peel off the protective backing on the mirror and then we're done.
and this is what that looks like guys look how beautiful this looks I absolutely love the Greek key pattern on the mirror it looks really beautiful okay so I'm going to go into the next project I'm going to create a flower pot or a flower box so I'm going to start by using a shipping box no shipping box and I'm just going to cut it down to size and make it look nice and even at the edges I'm going to use this silver contact paper just to cover the inside of the box so it can look a little bit neater inside Right here is a linen paper. It feels like linen, it looks like linen, but this is just contact paper and it's silver and it's so pretty. So I'm going to use this to cover the outside of the box. So now that that's done, I like the way it looks, I'm going to use some silver diamond wrap. I'm going to cut a single strip and then I'm going to apply it around the top edge of the box and down the corners of the box as well. This is what that looks like and I added the wrap down at the bottom just to make it look really nice so now what I'm going to do so that this design fits on our box I'm going to cut it down to size after that I'm going to apply it to all four sides of the box I'm just peeling off that protective film and the mirror part looks really great guys look how nice that looks the flower box came out so nice guys I absolutely love the way it looks that's probably my favorite but anyway guys let me know what you think and I'm gonna thank you so much for coming through and watching today I do appreciate it so you stay well stay safe and stay blessed and I will see you at the next video <laughs> bye bye <laughs>